Hello folks, here's Zorgo with a new tutorial for you. This one is tailored to any of you who've got a ultra wide monitor. Uh, mine is 3440 by 1440, uh, 34 inch ultra wide monitor. And I was so stoked when I got this and then I was so bummed when I loaded up EverQuest and found out, as I so often do with this game, that it was too old to handle some of the modern stuff. So it is does not scale correctly in full screen. Now, I've seen on Reddit and I have seen in the forums a lot of people just suck it up and they go to windowed mode where they can adjust the size. But I'm here to tell you there is a way you can do this in full screen and uh, it may not be exactly what you want like I can't get it to be the right proportions in full screen 3440 by 1440 but EverQuest has a command that can actually adjust the viewport and it's called viewport and it makes the game not only playable but I think has a nice little side benefit to it as well especially if you're a multiboxer so that's using the command viewport to change the uh, size of what you can see in the game and it will end up uh, creating the correct proportions. Now if you do a simple search for an aspect ratio calculator you can find out that uh, if you've got want to go from top to bottom 1440 and you put that value into an aspect ratio calculator and you go 16, 9. Uh, so 16 to 9 is probably the most common uh, aspect ratio. You would find out that uh, the proportions that you want is 2560 by 1440. And that would be make everything look good. So let me uh, do a little adjustment here. So I want to pull this up so that you can see it. And I'm going to change the size of the font. Uh, hopefully that's a little bit bigger for you. All right, so when you type the command viewport, as you can see, and I've done it <laughs> several times in my tests, you type the command viewport and you can see X and Y axis and the what everything is. So look, like right now it's at zero, zero, 3440 by 1440 and the scale is 1. Uh, so I can't really tell what the difference is between scale 0 or scale 1 to be honest with you. And it doesn't do any other scales than that. So what you want to do is change those values and you do that with the same slash command viewport. There is a little bit of math involved because since the screen is 3440 wide and you now want it to be 2560 you subtract 2560 from 3440 and you come up with a value of 880. Now then you can put that 880 in the X value and it will put a, a black bar on one side of the screen. But if you want to put a black bar on either side of the screen, what you want to do is cut that value in half. So 880 divided by two is 440. So that's the value that I want to have in that X axis. So here we go. All right, and it has put everything into the right proportions now, and it's put an, an equal black bar on either side. But now you can see that side benefit I was talking about. Do you see how the UI elements can continue to extend out to your full range? That means that when you adjust your UI the way you want it, you can put a lot of the stuff that you don't want clouding up your view off to the left or right, 
and it makes for a really nice gaming experience. Now I usually still have a few things here in the center, you know, my my spells and my major commands and my target and all of that kind of stuff because I always like to have that right there in the middle. But a lot of that ancillary stuff I just throw off to the right and left side uh, and it is really helpful when I'm using um, IS Boxer to multi-box because I can put my video effects on the left and right and keep them out of my way keep the the game from being too cluttered but still have all that functionality now you may be looking at that and being like well you know I could have gotten a smaller monitor and basically still had that viewport well I decided to do a little test to see how far I could push it to see how much I could minimize those black bars on either side and you can't go up to 3440 but it looks to me like the thing that you can do is you can go up to 2779 now if you go um, one higher than that well I'm sorry let's see is it 2779 or is it 2879 let's test and see I think it's 2779. 2879. Shoot. Okay. So if it is 2879, then when you do the math, and I rounded it up to 2880, then you come up with a 560 left over from 3440 divide that in half would be 280 so my first value is going to be 280 and then 2879 and then 1440 and bingo there you go so that is as big as EverQuest can handle I can show you just um, if you just go that one higher how it uh, starts to distort So you can see there that it has started to stretch. Um, it's uh, not too bad. I mean, I think that I could probably play this, um, but I prefer it to be in in the. I, I you know what I could probably play it like this, but I think that I wouldn't get used to it. It's only a minor change, but let me put it back. Yep, that looks right to me. And I've got an even space on either side. Now you can put that full value, it's like 280 is uh, you know, on this side and 280 is on this side, but you can change that value and you can put the whole 560 on the left and you can put the whole 560 on the right. You can mess around in a lot of different ways with it. Uh, one thing that I have seen some people do is they actually just go for the straight up 1920 by 1080. Now if you do that it's going to center that in the middle of your screen and have uh, black completely surrounding it so bars on the top and bottom and left and right and you have to do a little bit of extra math because now you've got to deal with the y-axis math as well. So if you want to see what that looks like uh, let's see so 3440 minus 1920 equals 1520 which would put 760 on either side of our screen and 1440 minus 1080 would equal 360 so that put 180 on the top and bottom so let's see what that looks like And now I've got the game as EverQuest intended right there in the center. And I've got all this real estate on either side for my UI. So uh, I know a lot of 
multi boxers who use IS boxers who who use this method because they can put video effects and they can put all of their hot bars and everything off to the side and still feel like they have a clean uh, view for playing the game not getting cluttered up by all of the other buttons that they need so I hope this helps those of you who have a 34 inch widescreen and were searching for uh, a solution and uh, hopefully any of you who are like using IS Boxer, you may be actually inspired to get a 34 inch widescreen because you can see how valuable having all that stuff on the sides can be. Uh, look for other videos where I show you this in, I've uh, been playing with IS Boxer quite a bit and doing some uh, three boxing with it and learned a lot more about how to make it work and you can see my uh, functioning UIs taking advantage of this viewport and IS Boxer's uh, functions as well so uh, keep an eye out for those videos coming soon. Thanks again for watching folks.